If we walk in darkness, there is no life. I will challenge all those who are multi, not only billionaires, but trillionaires. I challenge you. Have you ever tasted inner peace? Have you ever tasted true love, true joy, true happiness? You walk and you're afraid of your own shadow. You put your head on the pillow and you don't know who's going to come and take that life away. You live in absolute secrecy. You don't want to be revealed. You don't want to be known because you've got too much at stake to lose. So do you call this life? Why don't you come and embrace Jesus and go out and walk down Smart Street Fairfield? Or George Street in the city. Walk in the open and say who you are without being afraid. Without being afraid. There is nothing more precious than living, tasting, and feeling freedom. True freedom. True freedom. Finally, I'm free. That will only be made possible when Jesus becomes the crown of your head and your glory. When Jesus, it's the only way. This has got nothing to do with you're a Christian or not. It is Jesus. I've gone up there and I've gone down there. I've seen both. Heaven and hell. Hell is hell. <laughs> Can't get any heller than hell. <laughs> and heaven is stunning. I can assure every human being. I'm not benefiting from this. No, nothing. But I'm telling you this is the truth. I can assure every human being. If you're going to end up in heaven, you will only meet Jesus, no one else. He's the only way. There is no Muhammad. There is no Buddha. There is no Krishna. I'm not offending you. Please, I'm begging you. I'm kissing your feet. It is only Jesus. I've been there. This outfit doesn't change nothing. Doesn't. Just because I'm wearing this, it's not going to make me any different. It is when I give my heart to the Lord that He will make all the difference in me. So don't think I'm wearing this, I'm special. I'm not. You're special because God chose to make you special. Allow Him, please, I beg you, allow Him. Allow Him. Our times are evil. Allow the Lord. Your beginning journey in the world is glass, clear, beautiful. But the end of your journey in the world is nothing but burning fire. You'll destroy yourself chasing the world. How many people you thought they were the best friends you could ever have and they betrayed you and sold you just like that? How many times you trusted people and they just let you down? How many times you said this is it and there is nothing like it and you came to this gruesome realization and truth that I was deceived, misled and blinded by Satan and the temptation of the world. But when you come to Jesus, what you see is what you get. He is genuine. He is honest and truthful with you. When he says, I love you, nothing will change him. Even if you walk away, he will still love you. Even if you betray him, he will still love you. Even if you sell him like Judas Iscariot, he will still love you and cry for you. Because he is genuine. He is holy. Never changing. And cannot change. If God wanted to change, he can't. That's why he is holy. And we thank him for being the never changing God. We thank him for that.